hello children and my dear friends so today we are going to continue triangles second part so in this video we are going to discuss types of triangles based on its side and based on its angle so right now we are going to discuss there are three types of triangles based on its sides so we are going to discuss now types of triangles based on their sides triangles can be classified as follows so first one is a scale and triangle based on its side triangles can be classified three types so scale and triangle a triangle in which no two sides are equal a triangle in which no two sides are equal is called a triangle so that means if triangle abc so no side is equal to the other one so if you observe ab this is 3 cm then bc this is 5 cm so ac this is 4 cm here no two sides are equal so you can observe here in the given triangle ab is not equal to bc and bc is not equal to ca so three are different in length so then this is called scale and triangle then let us go for isosceles and equilateral triangle right so based on its side second type is isosceles triangle a triangle in which any two sides are equal is called isosceles triangle so example if you observe triangle pqr triangle pqr side pq is equal to side pr so third one is different so a triangle in which any two sides so the length of pq is equal to the length of pr so then here in the given triangle pq is equal to pr so then it is called isosceles triangle so third one equilateral triangle a triangle in which all three sides are equal is called so a triangle in which all three sides are equal is called an equilateral triangle so if you observe triangle xyz so side xy is 3 cm side xz is 3 cm side yz is 3 cm so here it is all the three sides are equal in length so in the given figure xy is equal to yz is equal to zx that means all the three sides are equal so then this is called equilateral triangle then let us discuss based on its angle triangles types okay right so based on angle triangles can be classified as follows so there are four types of triangles based on angle then first one is acute angled triangle acute angled triangle a triangle in which all the angles are acute is an acute angle triangle so that means if you observe example triangle abc so here all the angles angle a is 60 degrees angle b is 80 degrees and angle c is also 40 degrees so all the angle in the triangle abc each of the angle a angle b and angle c less than 90 degrees less than 90 degrees then coming to second one obtuse angle triangle a triangle in which an angle is greater than 90 degrees is called an obtuse angle triangle so if you observe triangle abc here one angle so angle b is angle b is greater than 90 degrees so remaining two are less than 90 so at least one angle so only one angle not at least one angle 
So, greater than 90 degrees is nothing but obtuse angle triangle. So, if you observe here in the triangle ABC, so angle B is greater than 90 degrees. So, this is obtuse angle triangle. So, then let us discuss right angle and iso. Now, let us discuss right angle triangle. A triangle in which a right angle is a right angle triangle. So, that means in a triangle, in a triangle, one angle is equal to 90 degrees and other two are so different. So, less than 90 is nothing but called right angle triangle. So, then coming to fourth category, isoscalous right angle triangle. So, a right angle triangle in which two angles are equal and another angle is equal to 90 degrees. Another angle is equal to 90 degrees is an isoscalous right angle triangle. So, if you observe clearly, so in the right angle triangle, in the right angle triangle, so one is 90 degree and remaining two is less than 90. So, whatever the remaining two, so one is 60, 30, 70, 20, 50, 40, whatever it may be, then one must should be, one must equal to 90 degrees. Then coming to isoscalous right angle triangle. So, one is right angle triangle and remaining two also equal. So, remaining two means 90 by 2. So, that is 45 and 45. So, and here the two sides, opposite sides of the right, this 45 degrees is also equal to uh, same length, equal to same in length. So, this is nothing but uh, different uh, types of triangles. Okay. So, what we have discussed today, based on sides, so there are three types of triangles. So, one is uh, scale and triangle. If the triangle has three different sides, means scale and triangle. So, second one is isoscalous triangle. If the triangle having two equal sides is nothing but uh, isoscalous triangle. Then third one, if the triangle having all three sides equal is nothing but equilateral triangle. So, that is based on uh, its length. So, based on its angle, so there are four types. So, one is uh, acute angle triangle. So, in a triangle, all the three angles less than 90 degrees, nothing but acute angle triangle. Second one is obtuse angle triangle. So, one angle is greater than 90 degrees and remaining to less than 90 degrees is nothing but obtuse angle triangle. Then coming to third one, right angle triangle. So, simply right angle triangle, one angle is 90 degrees, remaining two are less than 90. Then coming to fourth category, isoscalous right angle triangle. So, one is 90 degrees and remaining two must be equal, remaining two angles must be equal. So, that is isoscalous triangle. So, these are the different types of triangles. In the next class, we, we are going to solve some problems based on this types of triangles. Okay, now. So, we will continue in the next session. So, until keep watch my previous videos and as well as so, write all the running notes of this class for your future reference. So, until have a safe children. So, thank you. Thank you very much.